Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Hoven Raselis. Second referee, Mr. Loomer Pajarillo. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Petrogas Angels. At jersey number two, Janelle Welch Cheng. Number five, Gretchel Soltones. Wearing jersey number eight, Isa Pontilias. At number nine, Mary Remy Joy Palma. Number 13, Mar Jana Phillips. And number 20, Jonah Sabete. Starting libero, number 18, Cien Mary Ariel Cruz. Head coach, Mr. Oliver Alan Almadro. Calling on our Akari Chargers. At number five, Camille Victoria. Wearing jersey number eight, Janelle Maraginot. Number 10, Princess Ezra Madrigal. Number 11, Erika Beatriz Raagas. Number 15, Kiara May Parmentilia. And number 16, Aliona Denise Santiago Manabat. Starting libero is number one, Sheila Marie Pineda. And head coach is Mr. Jorge Souza de Brito. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the games and amusements board. Match number 29, preliminary round. If you're looking the at the starting lineup for the Petrogas Angels today. You know, Ishkanina, we were talking about how really this is a more crucial game for these girls. So you're seeing the, uh, these are the girls that we expect here at the uh, starting uh, lineup positions for Petrogas. And looking at the other side, Lazy Pink, this is going to be naman. Tingin ko, they're going to enjoy this game yeah. today, Ish. I think they're, they're going to play uh, a bit more loose today mm -hmm. because they've got nothing to lose. And, uh, like uh, the way they played in their last game against the charity yes. crossovers. But knowing the Petrogas Angels, I mean, they are the champions from the Reinforced Conference. So a lot of confidence riding into this game, I bet. And we're off. Let's see who will score first. And it is Christian Santiago Manaba. She is starting early. We talked about her at the top of our coverage, expecting a lot from this girl who is already finding her groove and getting comfortable with her team. Yeah, spilling over uh, her confidence uh, from her last game against the crossovers. Again, from the right pin, going cross court. That's a good serve. Sabete. It's a free ball right away. Akari will get to set up. Maraginot going to the middle. And Rem Palma. That's what we called her earlier. The scary Remy. Yeah, scary <laughs> Remy. Well, she is uh, one of the more consistent players here uh, for the Petrogas Angels. I mean, uh, currently number one when it comes to the blocking department. So, she's also one of the most Akari Chargers in today's game. You know, let's talk about the question that we posed uh, for all of you watching us and for all of you Twitter followers of PVL. Sino sa tingin mo ang kailangan mag-step up for both teams? I think uh, for Akari Chargers, it has to be uh, the hitters aside from Din Din Santiago Manabat uh -huh. because uh, in that game against the Charity of Protovers, uh, just like for Mintilia, I mean, she had a huge uh, outing in that game with mm -hmm. 18 attack points. Nakatulong siya doon kay Din Din Santiago Manabat in the scoring department. And that's what they need actually. What they need is the support uh, with dito kay Din Din Santiago yeah. Manabat. Pero dito naman sa Petrogas Angels, I mean, they are playing splendidly so far this uh, all Filipino conference. Everybody contributing mm -hmm. to the table. And I think it's also because of their uh, center in Janelle Cheng, yeah. I mean, which is just right behind Gia de Guzman, the setting department. You know, I like that you say that because when you cannot really pinpoint a, a true star or you find somebody who has to carry the load, that means everybody is coming together as a team. Right? Correct. Rise as one, I think that is what Akari is, say, is doing right now. 
Meantime, back to this game, Petrogas with an early lead here. We saw uh, some good serves. Service ace already scored earlier by uh, Gretzel Soltones. And the pass, she will hit it off the hands of Montilla there. Great things on has an early report for us. It's all about bouncing back for Chiara Permentilia. As you remember in her game against the PLDT High Speed Hitters, she only scored one point, but against the Cherry Tigo crossover, she had 18 with an effectivity rate of 40%. In that crucial win, Chiara told me that she was actually surprised with how much she scored because she felt like she contributed more on defense. And true enough, Chiara also tallied seven digs on top of her 18 points. She has also bounced back since her ACL in 2019, playing her first full conference since the injury and let's see right now if she can be as effective as we tur return back to set one chicken ish thanks so much Ray. in acl na yan, is that something that's familiar to you sa lahat ng mga nadaanan ng injury as we take a look at this rally and general chen tries to outsmart pantaneda there ball still good and finally Ball dies. That's a good one. With Petrogas winning that one care of. That was uh, Sotones, I think. Number, it was not, sorry, it was Jonas Tabete with that. Yeah, being put smart away. with yeah. her attack, targeting Jaja Malguna, the smaller blocker, that last play. Tabete goes to the back. And again, miscommunication there. Nakita alangana, nakahiyaan si Bang Pineda and Erika Raagas, and that cost them a point. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is a team that's uh, relatively new, we're talking about the Ar Atari Chargers. So, dito lang naman sila ka problem. Eh. Uh, when it comes to like, uh, the communication and the gelling part, but when it comes to like, their individual talents, uh, it's there. It's there for Atari. Yeah, we gotta remember, this is a very new team. They introduced themselves to the PBL just last conference. In Aliwa and Don scoring on that one. And so there is a lot for these girls to look forward to, actually. Yeah, I, want, I wanted to go back quickly. Is ACL something that you've ever had to worry about? Or you know teammates have gone through that. Talagang aalagaan mo yan eh. Matatakot kang bumalik. Yeah, I mean, uh... I've had an alum in AJ Pareja. Mm, Look, AJ had yes. an ACL injury. And of course, uh, Catalentino was, I think, uh, two years, three years behind me. And at that time, she was still nursing her ACL injury yeah. for, like, I think, the third time. And we saw her struggle. And that's something that you do not want to happen to your teammates or yeah. even to your opponents. And of course, yourself. And unfortunately, it's the kind of thing that will recur. Nga, sabi mo, like with Kat, we're talking about uh, ACLs because of Permentilla, who is now able to shake it off a little bit and really play better as she sends that ball over. She's getting a lot of touches today, too. Pero medyo lumabas yun. And Petrogas will get to eight points first. They have a four point lead against the Kari in this first set. We'll be back. Glowing Goldie. Sino may sabing Goldie yan? Di naman naman kung pumalo pa. May form pa rin si Mama Mozzi, of course, enjoying her time with the Akari Chargers. Of course, Mozzi was uh, one of the USD stalwarts back in the day. I'm sure all of you uh, know that. And she is also one of the icons and one of the favorite pitas around here. Hi, Mozzi. I know you're watching. Hi, Tita Mozzi. <laughs> 
Saltones going cross court, and Pineda couldn't handle the power behind that hit. Just found her groove here uh, mm -hmm. in this All Filipino Conference. Yeah. I'm talking about Gretchen Saltones. Yes. She has found her A game again. Not just in attacking, but of course uh, in defending on the floor. And you know, after being out for an entire year practically right. so due to an injury. Akari has the ball back, Jaja Mariganot. The setter from Ateneo de Manila, who tried to swap. Saw what it was like to be an opposite spiker. Permentilia will get the ball again. Kiara Permentilia trying to be a bit more creative yeah. in that last play. Trying to offer a check ball against uh, the block of MJ Phillips, but no go. It's a bit wide. Yeah, yes. <laughs> She had the right intention in mind. Uh oh, one more chance. Nakadalawa na siya and si Jaja Mariginot is showing her a lot of confidence and trust, giving her the ball each time. And that's an error on the attack coming from Isa Maisa for Tias. A break for Akari. Still a four point deficit for the Chargers. I think that's the first, uh, first error on the attack uh, coming from the Petrogas Angels in this game. <laughs> You know, this squad very experienced mm. talking about the Petrogas Angels. They've been together for so long. This is also a, somewhat of an interesting year for them. A couple of changes in the lineup, but the right. core team is still there. No right. And the joust there won by Akari. Oh, look at that spark play by Gretzel. A good read by Jaja. Back set. Ragas will send it over. And that's a point for Palma. Off the block there. That's a good slide attack. That was a smart play for Remy Palma. She saw that uh, her approach wasn't, you know, as explosive as she wanted it to be. And, uh, she just opted to swipe it off the block of Ragas for the point. Oh, good read by Bangpaneda there. Her experience. Showing off there, shining through there. Talaga ang lapit nun, but she opted to let that ball go. And Akari still four points behind. Let's see if they can get a little closer to Petrogas. Montilias pushing the ball over this time. Easy does it. Smart play. Reminds of Montilias. He saw the hole behind the block of Fraagas, but the set was also a bit uh, near the net already. And we've been talking about experience, and definitely Isa Maes has a lot, a right. ton of that. Sultanes hits it into the net. That's a service error for her, the first today. And that's a point for Akari. Akari is able to get some points off of the errors from the other side. So they're exploiting that aspect of Petrogas's game. But I think they have to create their own points at this point. Right. Huh? They cannot uh, rely on the unforced errors of the Angels here in this game. Ooh. Oh, wow. Good stop, though. Oh. Ravina doing her job, but then she sent the ball over. Chance here for Petrogas. Outside set to Raagas. She goes deep. But Sultanis is there. Who look at Janel Cheng Nabasa? Cheng with a quick to Remy Palma, and that works again. That connection of Cheng and Palma really has been uh, uh, on full display here in this All Filipino Conference. Uh, number one in uh, blocking, and she's also part of the top 10 uh, in terms of the attacking. Middle blockers here in this conference. She has definitely been scary for her opponents all season long. Remy Palma. Raagas hitting it off the blockers. Ball right back to Akari. Underhanded set there. Din Din makes do. That's a good set. Jonas Abete scoring a point off the block of Jaja Marginot. She's been targeting the block of Jaja. And that's a good decision uh, to make for her. She knows it's 
Uh, more often than not, it's gonna be a point for them. Yeah, and how about that effortless set by Janelle Ching? Right. It's a great set as well. And that was going to say loud too. This is something that Akari is able to do well, is read the long serves of their opponent. Right, I think that was their third service mm -hmm. error on, uh, in this opening set. Yes. Talking about the Petrogas Angels, but they still lead here. Oh, first ace here by Eric Araakas. That was a loaded serve, uh, very precise from Eric Araagas. No fear. Take a look at that on the replay. Take a look at the flight of Eric Araagas and that jump serve. She started out a little shaky at the front, a couple of errors on the attack, but she has made up for it already. Let's see how this serve goes. Oh, that's a good reception coming from Petrogas. And I think yes. Arena's banking there. Not soon enough. Yeah, she attempted to go for the pancake save. But now Maizo just seeing the holes uh, in the defense of the Akari Chargers early on in this game. Jaja back set to Camille Victoria and she'll get that point. That was a good hit from Victoria. It's a big quick at the back. And Victoria targeting the outside hand of Dona Sabete for the point. Cruz doing well with her reception. And that's off the block again. Dona Sabete has been consistent for her team. That's a fourth point already. And we are at 16 uh, points for Petrogas. Akari trailing by five in the second technical timeout. No do that. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. And we see these girls, they don't look like they're going to be playing like Ebon and Jojo, yeah. Joe Mariginot uh, on the sidelines there. Yeah, and like Ebon of the FEU Lady Chamorals. Oh, that one worked. Didn't answer that bad. You know, Madrigal, Madrigal has embraced uh, the second middle blocker position here for the Akari Chargers. He also started for the Chargers in their last game against uh, the crossovers. We talked about her contributions, the 5'10", 5'11", player from Akari, maybe using her height. Marginot going for Permentilia. That's off the block. Just efficient volleyball for Permentilia. <laughs> Coach Jorge was yelling at Madrigal to stay on top of that ball. Because sabi niya, it was already a freebie. He could have spiked that ball or blocked it right back. But in the end, it was still a point for them. So mm -hmm. I think a point is a point. <laughs> Now it's just three points they have to make up. We'll make that four as we see another service error coming from Maraginot this time. Well, uh, Jaja Maraginot has been loading up on her serve and uh, risking it all on yeah. the service line. And if you're going to go up against a very formidable team and Petrogas Angels, dapat sa service line palang atake na talaga. Cheng mm -hmm. pushes it outside to Soltones and she is dug there. Indian Santiago is also stopped by the blockers of Petrogas. And we have a rally again. Jaja, set. 
looking for Permantili on the right side this time. That's a good dig. Dindin timing it. Good stop there by Sabete. What a rally-ish. And Cheng so easy. Good read by Akari. Oh, sayang of course, the touches done. Just great effort on both sides of the court. Yeah, that was a great rally for both teams. There's a double contact called against Madrigal at that play. So, may time out here, Coach Jorge. Let's listen in. Receivers come inside. You see what happened there. The ball is tight. Use, okay? Stay there. Any ball that you have the chance, ball stay there. The guys will take the ball for you, so you do the best, okay? Your transition now, after you do this, if the, you don't kill, you stay always B. I know she's here. Not different, but only two things. Let's go, okay? let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, it's, it's quite easy to play. Come on. Let's go. Very precise instructions there, really uh, tactical and also fundamental. No, just uh, talking about the situation that he noticed and really it, it's uh, become a, a teaching opportunity for Coach Horne. Right, I like what he said the last part of that timeout. He said it's quite easy to play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's easier said than done. <laughs> Oh wow, just you can hear that one. Layu layu ni gacha sa atin pero rinig na rinig mo yung palo niya sa bola. Lakas talaga na dating na mga bola ni Gacha sa Dones. But I think there's a challenge. Yeah, ball in ball out challenge for Akari. You know, another thing, we can talk a little bit about that last time out, the transition that Coach Jorge was talking about, so important. How quickly you can back to your, get back to your position, to where you're supposed to be, ready to attack. Right. The, uh, he was talking particularly to Permentilia about that one. He said, uh, go back to your positions and stay. Mm. I mean, and then ask for the ball, mm. and then wait for the set. Uh, and then in here, there's a challenge, and it's clearly in, clearly in. For Gretchen Sultanas and the Petrogas Angels, so that's a point. We yeah, will keep that point, and that's one challenge that has been used by Atari in his first set. Trisha Genesis will be coming in for the first time today. Amtelia gets to rest a little bit. As MJ Phillips continues to serve. Six point lead for Petrogas. Good reception for the girl who just came off the bench. John Asabete with a chase down. Jaja looking for Dindin. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, you know, mocking the ball. Yeah. yeah, that's what you like about her, you know. She has that energy. That's also what you can bring to the table. Yeah. But what about that hit from Santiago Manaba targeting the high hands of Remy Palma for the kill? So strong. And that one too, Remy Palma unleashing the beast. Having a field day on the running attacks here today against the Chargers. Take a look at that perfect set from Janelle Cheng. Only a single block coverage. It's hard to do Pag-usapan mo na rin kanina yung connection talaga between Remy Palma and, and Janelle Cheng. And that is really going to cause damage no matter who they are Correct. going up against. Correct. And then that's another point for Remy Palma. I can see of a kill block. Mm -hmm. Jaja backs up to Dindin. And Jonas Abete doing outstanding in the back with her floor defense. The one to call off, Sultanes and Sabete defending on the floor and then attacking in front. Grecho Sultanes, it's time for her to hit it off the block. Mm -hmm. It's Amai Sopotillas, the lefty opposite hitter. The Agas this time, solo block by Remy Palma. She is scoring off the blocks now, too. Just really a dangerous player. That was an off system set. Pero hindi niya pinabayaan na lumagpas sa net. Still block coverage. 
An attempt for her in the block. Dragas will send it over a chance here for Petrogas to set up once more. Soltones putting it away off that block. Madrigal and did get the block together and Petrogas with multiple set points here. Powerful off the block kills from Reto Soltones. is milking her here in the opening set. Here, just a chance for Raagas, and she goes down the line. Nobody home, zone one. That was a clean hit from Erika Raagas. She saw the hole. Don't block the Maiza Contilias right there. That's a perfect execution for Erika Raagas. And Akari will want to see more of those plays. They want to see the attackers just really committing and going for it. Was he, uh, rather, <laughs> <laughs> Danny Ravenna. Coming in at the serve here. She's going to be a defensive specialist here for Coach Jorge and the Chargers. That's a good serve. Good up, though. Oh, <laughs> so, you know, that is just because of the good pass and that conversion. By Soltones, you know that's something she is very capable of, just putting the ball away like that. And Petrogas takes her set 25 and when we come back, we'll talk more about that first set. Stay right there. Difference between the two. Quite easy for Petrogas to take that first set ish. Yeah, everything going their way. That opening set win. Talking about the Petrogas Angels. Uh, they had a lot of attack points and uh, they were passing and defending perfectly, uh, directing the ball to their setter, Janelle Cheng. And of course, Cheng having a field day when it comes to setting a lot of plays here for the Petrogas Angels in their opening set win. A lot of players scoring for her. Uh, Gretzio Soltones, Palma, Maiza Pontilias, Sabete on the board here for the Petrogas Angels. And then, ito may kita nyo right in front of your screens right now. Attack points for Petrogas, 17 as opposed to only 10 from the Akari Chargers. Block points, 2 to nothing. Service aces, 1 apiece. And uh, unforced errors here, 5 committed by Petrogas. Or rather, four and five committed by Akari Chargers. And the disparity between the attacks, do mo talaga may kita kung gaano ka fluid in today's match. So far, itong Petrogas Angels. Fluid, I think, is a perfect way to describe it. Dahil parang ang well oiled machine, or however way you want to describe these games or these uh, times when you see a team just really not having to second guess themselves. Yung talagang alam na alam nila yung the rhythm is, is on, it's correct. On the other hand, sa Akari, hinahanap pa rin. And I think yung sinasabi mo nga, nagkukulang sa lakas ng loob on the attack. They just have to commit more and just really go for it. And let's see if uh, things will shake up in this second set and if they're able to produce more points and really exploit the uh, the power of uh, Dindin, Santiago, and you know, Eric Raagas has also been very um, strong. And she, has, she scored that really big down the line hit. We have Krishma Kaslang coming into this game in the second set. Another top player at the front row. Yeah, for Mintili, a bit silenced here so far in this game. And Madrigal earlier. So uh, it's Makaslang's turn for uh, Coach Jorge and the Akari Chargers. Let's see if uh, she brings something to the table mm -hmm. here in the second set. Maybe one of them, or both of them, could be the spark plugs in this game for Akari. 
for Coach Jorge also trying different combinations of players to see maybe some will work better together than others today. Montilias sending it back. Akari hustling. That's good defense there. Good volleyball there. But, uh, <laughs> Petrogas. Danielle Cheng is so sneaky. Right. I mean, look at that play. A one-handed back set to Isa Maiza Pontilia. So again, scoring off of a drop shot. You never know what she's up to talaga. No? Hindi mo alam kung kanin niya ibibigay. And yung mga, mga players niya, alam, alam nila. You know nga, you're talking about just really the, the fluidity of Petrogas' game. <laughs> now a solo block by Jonas Abete. Yeah, and they're also scoring in the blocking department, not just an attack, so yeah. that's a huge help. It's tough. You know, we're looking at the number one blocking team right. in the league in Petrogas, and this girl, the best blocker of all. <laughs> so that's tough. That's tough for the likes of Din Din, who is dependent heavily on for her offense. Back set to Permentilia. She's blocked. Chacha goes to Din Din now, and uh, that one works out. And Janelle Cheng acknowledging it was her error. She didn't go for that ball. Let's listen to Green Thick Song with a report here. Petrogas is no stranger to the pressure that comes with chasing a semi-final spot. But team captain Chi Sae told me earlier that they want to enter the postseason in a very convincing manner. She told me na yung mindset ng team parating naghahabol to avoid complacency. Now, Chi also told me that the team does not see their current standings as an advantage because no seat is safe at this point of the eliminations. Right now, their goal is to make it into the semi-finals on their own merit and winning a match like this really Helps their cause. Let's see as we go back to set number two with Isa Maiza Pontilias on the service line. That's a good point from Rain Tixon. I mean, she saw it being the team captain. She wants her team in the semi final round because that's what they worked hard for. And so far, so good for the Petrogas Angels, dropping only two games coming into this game. And you see the smiles on their faces. You feel how they are. Quite relaxed on the court, they're not tight, and the flow, the fluidity, those are the words of the day, I think, ish, because that's what definitely we are seeing inside the girls in white. That was an off system set already from Janelle Cheng, but take a look at Jonas Sabete stretching her body mid air, going for that deep cross court angle for the kill. And you know, see Janelle Cheng, she's a, a Outstanding setter, but she must consider herself lucky because her teammates didn't mapili masyado. Correct. No? They'll just take Eddie set. Montilla's from back row this time. And uh, Janelle Cheng knows to just vary up her sets. She goes, she has so many options. That pop set to Isa Maiza Montilla's. Oh no, that, I'm sorry, I correct that one. An overhead set still from Janelle Cheng. But again, you can see Isa Maiza Puntilias. Uh, she hasn't been attacking hard, no? She's just placing her shots so far in this Isa Puntilias, designated game captain for the Angels. Jonas Abete, Six points for Jonah so far, and that's the service for you. Isa Maiza is starting off strong here. She already has six points as well. So, like you said, Kish, talagang pinagahati nila yung mga puntos. Yeah, the distribution yeah. of the sets from Janelle Cheng. Well, that's her luxury, actually. I mean. And officially, talagang hating kapatid. Six points each for Palma, for Soltone, Sabete, and uh, Pontillas. Soltones goes for her seventh. Good hustle there by the Akari Chargers. One more chance. MJ Phillips this time. Ooh, this Targeting Indian Santiago in the back. Powerful attack there from the running MJ Phillips. Just from the approach, I knew that that was going to be a point for her. The power behind that hit. Let's bring in MJ Phillips to the fray here. She's also starting to build on her points. Second for today. 
Nagkukuhan ko Palma. Oh, buhay pa! You know, that's something you gotta give a carry, ha? Na hindi nila pina... Ayaw nilang mamatay yung bola sa... Doon sa side nila, sa court nila. So they really try. They scramble for the ball. And that's really what you need to do against a team like Petrogas. They're doing the same. Everything the same they always doing. The guy here is Spike Cross. We are on the Anten. There she's Spike Cross. We are the Anten. How can you play? How can you... Is that... Okay? If you... If you, you know, she never spike hard. So you always have to take care of her. Stay there. The ball will come, then you can block or take it. But you have to play because you know they do exactly what they're doing always. You have to follow the plan now. Coach Jorge reiterating that the girls have to follow the game plan and they have to. Uh, match up the energy that the Angels are uh, putting into this match. Otherwise, they're just going to lag behind here in this game. Already a four-point lead for Petrogas in the second set. They took the first one, 25-15, for those who's just joining our coverage now. Again, this is a double header for all UVBL fans. Coming up after this game is Joko Mucho going up against Cherry Tigo. And let's take a quick break on this technical timeout. Petrocas up by five. Welcome back to the Phil Sports Arena. This is the first of our doubleheader today. Chiki Robuno with Ish Paul Barosa and PSC Chair Dicky Bachman enjoying the action here today. And I hope you all are too at home. Stick around for the next two games or the next game after this one as well. We were talking earlier about how important it is for both Petrogas and Cherry Figo to win their respective games because they have a shot at the top four. Yeah, well, uh, the Petrogas Angels want to cement their place in the semifinals. Uh, well, the first step is to win here today against the Akari Chargers. So far, they're doing the, their jobs correctly, player for player. Saltones through the team and black. It's too strong. Right. Again, what a smart hit coming from Gretchen Saltones. He now gets the ulit yung smaller blocker, Jaja Maraginot. And they've been successful in that aspect, talking about Saltones and Sabete. And there's the advantage also that Petrogas has in a taller setter. But Janelle Cheng who is able to block. Antilias going to the corner. But that was outside, oh. was untouched. And Akari will score a point, still behind by four. We were talking earlier at the top of our coverage how this is pretty much a no-bearing game for Akari. They are out of contention. Uh, if it's their chances for a slot in the final four, those have been dashed. That has been dashed, but really, Akari has to use every opportunity they have to improve themselves oh, yes. as a team and just get to know each other better because they're And to learn as well how to play effectively with the likes of Bang Teneda yeah. and Dindin Santiago Manabat. But in the palo, na yun, no? Gretzel Sultanes again with another explosive hit. Gretzel Sultanes definitely missed the action last year, but she didn't... Uh, well, it was not forgotten. Everybody was waiting for her to make her comeback because we know how exciting she is. And Akari again will 
get a point there. One more time. It's a good variation of the sets. Um, from Jaja Maraginot, yeah, going yeah. for the pipe. Yeah. That's how Sultanas acknowledges her error there. Wow! And that's uh, close. Again, Jaja Maraginot trying to go for a loaded serve. Just a bit wide. A bit long, rather. A comfortable five point lead here for the Petragas Angels. And again, off system here, but look at that! Fermentilia just makes do with a yeah. kill. I think we haven't mentioned her name as much here in this game when it comes to her attacks. But this time she converts from the off system set of Maraginot. You're right, first time we're hearing from her in the second set. And she had a breakout game last time around when they went up against Chayati and won. Scored 18 in that game. That set was already uh, too close to the antenna. Nairapan na si Jaja, si Jona Sabete rather, to adjust. Ito na, nabubuhayan ng Akari Chargers. They're down by, just by three now. Back set, Janelle Cheng just hands it to Pontillas and she knows what to do with that ball. Just tipping it behind the single block coverage of Erika Raagas. Oh, it's Lupin Santiago Manama trying to block her. Ooh! <laughs> That's back to back points for Isa Maiza Pontilias targeting for Mentilia the zone one. Look at that, a last second dropping Drop. right there. Oh, I'm surprised there's no challenge there. That was very, very close. Maragin not pushing it out to the Agas and spins it off the block. And you know, if you're a Agas, you just want to keep doing that. Just yeah, score however way you can. That's a smart hit as well. I think she targeted the blocking hands of Janelle Cheng, yeah, mm -hmm. right there. And she is the smaller of the uh, two blockers, so same strategy on both sides. Krish Bakaslang getting ready for the serve here. Let's see who Cheng goes to. Sabete sends it over. Maraginot gets a chance to set up. She wants another quick. Now she pushes it outside to Raagas. Perfectly executed there. Everybody's waiting for Victoria to go for a second one. And that was a great choice by Jaja to just send it out. Alangan niya yung position niya. Nabigay pa rin niya. It's the Ateneo connection for you. Maraginot to Raagas. Back to back points for Erika. We also featured them earlier, yeah. how they have become really good friends after five years of playing together. And that shows up on the court, doesn't it? Oh, that was a good hit. A slice cross court kill for Jonas Sabete. Take a look at that one on the replay. And here now is Jonas Sabete just showing off her athleticism. How about that approach and that elevation? And the flick of the wrist mm -hmm. sideways, you know, intentionally going cross court. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that can be frustrating for any player after that great attack. They're on first errors, keep helping Akari here to keep it close. And we have substitutions on the side of Akari. Michelle Cobb will be. Handling the setting and Ellie Soyud also in for Dindin Santiago Manabat. Michelle Cobb, known for her heavy loaded serves right from BLSU, Lady Spike, Green Spikers. Got the team captain on the court now. Let's see if she can lead the charge. No pun intended. <laughs> oh. But look who is charged up. That was a good target. Great for MJ Phillips. Just went a bit wide. So both Oliver Almadro calls for time. 
we have to attack convincingly. Okay. Second, look at the set. It's too delayed, too delayed. So we're delayed. we have to count. Matouch natin, malaking bagay. Okay. And then, again, we have to attempt. There are a lot of balls that we're not trying to attempt. Kailangan tayong matip, mataas, babalik ang bola. Yun ang pinaka-importante. Okay. Okay, again, put up the intensity. Ha? Let's put up the intensity now. Come on. Side out, side out. Good, Petrogas. Right. So, let's put up the intensity because the car is closing in here uh, in the second set. Total attack points in this game so far. Petrogas with 29, Akari only with 16. Block points dominated by Petrogas, 3 to nothing. So, for the scoring department, lamang din talaga itong Petrogas Angels. Eh, no? They just have do not have to uh, let up and relax here. And there you go. Now they're playing heads up volleyball. That was a great stop, great defense there, and a conversion by MJ Phillips. And Petrogas keeps the lead just by three points, though. Akari is doing much better in the second set. Ish. She was ready for that regalo, and she took advantage of it. Oh! That's back-to-back -back yeah. service errors. You know, these service errors really Akari should take advantage of. We saw some good serves coming from the side of the Chargers. See her basho. <laughs> She's saying that's already their fourth service error of the set alone. Binibilangan ah. There's that slight attack. This time stopped by Michelle Cobb. Soyud going up, oh. and uh, it's a good idea to go deep there. Sabete having a little bit of a harder time. That was already on its way out. Sabi ng mga blockers and the coach Oliver Almagro. But sabi nga nila, when in doubt, you take it. And that's what Jonas Sabete did. It's just that her form in that dig was not so beautiful mm. and not so proper. And look at Akari. Just a point away from evening things out here in the second set. Oh, that was too strong. So Tones kissing the line. Shalkap couldn't do anything about it. I think that's a point for Gretchen Soltones, but uh, time will tell. Oh, though. There's, okay. a ball, there's a challenge called here. Yes, there is. First challenge we're seeing in the second set for the Akari Chargers. And this is really a good time to challenge because they are gaining on their opponents. Mas malapit ito, di hamak. 25-15 was how that first set ended. Right, they're gaining ground here. But yeah, that's clearly in yeah. on the line for Gretchen Sultone. So they take the two-point lead here, 16-14. to 14. Sixteen fourteen. Akari should still be happy at this second technical timeout because they're only down by two. Back for more after the break. Watch Gilas Filipinas on August 25, August 27, and or August 29, and be entitled to watch the other games scheduled on that day at the Araneta Coliseum. Get your Gilas Day Pass now. Limited passes available by now. Back to the game at hand. Akari looking really much improved in the second set. And they are just gaining on Petrogas here. Still looking to tie the game up. They haven't led yet, but this is the closest they've come. Yeah, Trisha Genesis uh, targeting the seam in between the block of Palma and Maize Pontilias for that point. It's done by a point here. That's good reception by Cruz. Pontilias is blocked. And this is a free ball. Chance for Akari to set up. Michelle Cobb 
Putting it up for the back row attack of the Agas, and that works. And look who is tied now. 16 all. Akari looking good. Again, that's a great set from Jaja Maraginot. All thing. Uh, that's Michelle Cobb, rather, going for the pipe set. And they haven't been defending well in that area, the setter's area there, the part of uh, the Petrogas Eagles here in the second set. Oh, good save by Mitch Cobb in that pancake. Pantilla is just with the contact of the ball. Grab him. The wide up and the approach. You know, we have actors like Ronaldo Valdez enjoying the action here at the Field Sports Arena. Sports fan fantasy, Mr. Ronaldo Valdez. So glad to see him here. Soyud, two man block, solid there for Palma and Sabete. And that is Palma's ninth point. You know, the Petrogas Angels, whenever they put up the intensity and be more serious about uh, their actions inside the court, no, they can easily score eh, <laughs> against their opponents. Yeah. That's why they were being reminded by Coach Oliver Almadro earlier to just put up your intensity oh. and then play the way you played in the first set. How about that? One tool. Yes, Starting off with that <laughs> save by Sortones. And the aggressiveness on the floor defense and on the attack. Uh, it showed in that last yeah. play. If that isn't intense-ish, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was a great play from Maiza Pantilla. So that calls for time. Akari Chargers, let's listen in. Don't stay on the line, you don't give. You, don't, you go inside, you don't give. So it's, it's more details, a lot of points. Okay? One single. Just now again. Side up. Okay? And you're still playing. One single side up. Put hand on the back. Yes. Okay, you have two guys. Even here, two guys here and one there. Okay, get ready to play. The same receive. Same receive. That reminder about that service reception, serve receive, Sabini Coach Horn. Small details, but plenty of points. Right, because it all starts with a good reception. And, uh, we have a full front line here with uh, Soyud, Genesis, and Makaslang in front. Set up a good play. Oh dear, first ball woes again. Oh, that's outside the court for a no check there. Not responding quickly to the timeout of Coach Jorge as the Akari Chargers passers. The lead has now ballooned to four points. Mm -hmm. And now, the Petrogas here in the second set. And you know, Akari, if you're Akari, you remember how you're able to even things out. So you know you have it in you. You don't want to lose that spark, that confidence. You don't want to let that uh, get away from you. Correct. Because Petrogas will just keep coming like they are now. These are the champions, like you said. I mean, the mindset that they have, though, whenever they want to score a lot of points needed to take over. Ito si Gretchen Soltones, ang tagal niya na sa service line. She has been loading up on her serves and having a field day for Coach Oliver Almadra and the Angels today. Oh, wow. Genesis. That was a good one by Trisha Genesis on her second point today. That's a powerful hit from Trisha Genesis. Look at the wind up there. Long ball as well. It all started with the perfect pass yeah. to Michelle Cobb. Volleyball is always a sport of connection. I mean, every skill you have to connect it. Yep, and tama ka yung sinasabi mo nga isha. All of these players, most of them stars in their um, college teams. I mean, Tisha Genesis, we knew how really Adams was so lucky to have a Tisha Genesis. And if only she is able to really show off her, her talent. Let's see if she gets another chance. Ball's back to Petrogas. Let's see where Jaja goes. Back set to Din Din, and Ooh. she is off. Well, that back set of Jaja Marginot was also off. Mm. <laughs> I mean, way off the net. So, nahirapan dun sa adjustments. So, the approach itong si Din Din Santiago Manaba. So, they give up another point here in the second set. 
Eder Ginoo, their service specialist on the floor for Coach Oliver Almadro. We also have Zihar Basho now on the floor for Petrogas. Genesis going up with that thing. Good read by Isa Maiso Pontillas. Hervasio goes up. And she's dug by Raagas. Raagas this time too long. That was a good set from Jaja Marginon. It's just that Erika Raagas overcooked it yeah. from the pipe. So Petrogas Angels now two, set, two points so, away. So mm -hmm. uh chances for Raagas. So she's given a lot of chances really to score for her team Gen genesis does it again it's really good to see genesis highlighted today and we're going to see many of those hits in the highlight reels well, what about that box set yeah from the running jaja marginot and also making up for that the botched set you're talking about earlier with Bindin and yago pinapakita ni jaja na Teka, oh. babawi ako. Pero MJ Phillips. Too quick for Petrogas. And Akari barely getting a chance to really run their plays. Enjoying her game here. I mean, it also uh, started with a great pass from Gretchen Sortone. She's been solid on the floor today for uh, the Petrogas Angels, both on offense and on defense. We got Chisayat on the floor as well with the serve. Janelle Cheng gets a, to take a breather. And that's good enough. Yes, Chris Slang is saying that is inside. And right in front of us, Ish. Yeah, I think it also flips the line. But we'll see if it is challenge. As you know, as we all know, challenges are always very tricky. I don't want one moment, uh, oh, I saw it was a check, or I saw it was outside or inside, pero... Pag tignan ulit, ano? Yeah. It always doesn't go your way. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also something that many of the fans are getting used to. We introduced the challenge uh, sometime last year, and now it's just become a part of this game. Napakanipis! Yeah. Talagang that was really worthy of a challenge. <laughs> such a close call. That is inside. Kari will keep that point. And they are still alive. They need to hold on. Petrogas already took the first set. They have to play perfect volleyball yeah. from here on out. Talking about that Kari Chargers if they want to uh, catch up here in the second set. Nice soft set. Soft hands for Chisai. That's good enough. That is the care of Utrecht with the set ender. One more time on that. Soft hands for Chi. Yeah, the perfect back set. Yeah. Chi Saet to Buitre ending that second set for the win for the Petrogas Angels. 25 19 was a score on that second set. We'll unpack that after the break. Given up the first few sets, taking a look at the, some of the highlight plays here. Plus, Petrogas with a strong start, but we saw a lot of bright spots and bright moments for Akari almost uh, taking the lead. They were able to tie things up at some point, but then we saw Petrogas just increasing their intensity again towards the latter part of the set and just pulling away and finally taking that set home and taking a look at the numbers here now clearly the advantage in the attacks going to Petrogas the more aggressive team between the two 
blocks as well from the number one blocking team in the league. Two blocks for Petrogas. And the Aces didn't help the case for Akari because Petrogas is able to score on their serves as well. But they were also uh, suffering some errors there, which Akari was able to take advantage of. And Akari able to minimize their errors to four, but it's really about becoming more aggressive this time around and trying to earn your own points and score off of the attackers. Just a uh, little more chances for them to set up their plays as coach uh, Jorge was calling for the team to just do better on the reception to allow their plays to be seen here. Jaja Maraginot, a very able setter, alternating with Mitch Cobb, who was able to get some playing time in that second set. But this girl, Jonna Sabete, has been so efficient, both as a defender in the back and really also on her attacks. Jonna Sabete already with seven points, and you know, as Ish has been talking about how Petrogas is able to really just spread out the points and just really win a game by team effort. And I think the, the numbers will see that through. A lot of gunners here on the side of the Petrogas Angels. Sultan is leading the way with 11 points. Just right behind her, Maizo Pontilius with 10. And then Remy Palma with nine, and of course, Jonas Sabete also with seven, Phillips with four points. So, you know, the offensive stats here, really distributed here uh, in this game against like, the Carry Chargers. Everybody can choose to take it apart with the Angels. And as I say that, Eddie saw you with the, with the attack from the left pin. This should bode well for Akari scoring first here in this third set, a do or die set for them. You know, talking about the, the way the points are distributed, of course, it goes without saying that is care of the orchestration of Janelle Cheng. Shana man yung distribute din ng bola. Also, credit half those points to the passing of Cruz, ah. Sabete, and Soltones. They've been all they've been solid as well here in this game. Pero <laughs> That was a misreception from Stias Cruz. And already two points for Akari. Genesis continues to serve. She has an explosive serve as well. Pineda with a pass there. Raagas going up off the block. And look at this. Petrogas still waiting to get on the scoreboard in this third set. A much better, much explosive start for the Akari Chargers here in the third set. Oh, well, they've got their own momentum going in the middle part of that second set loss. So the question is, can they sustain it? I mean, against a very formidable Petrogas Angel squad. Those high risk, high return, jump serves. Genesis was able to get a service ace, but also a service error. And ball is back to Petrogas. They are finally on the scoreboard, care of that service error. Sotones now with her jump serve. Over to Genesis there. Soyud chasing after the ball. Hitchcock just sends it over. Chang Ooh. going to Sabete, and that's an error also on the attack. Jonas Sabete knows it. Jonas Sabete wanted to go for a top spin kill because she saw the donut hole doon sa gitna ng defense sa mga carry chargers. It was just a, the execution was bad. <laughs> Yan yung sinasabi natin mga coaches. Eh, no? Good intention, bad, bad execution. execution. Well, at least you have step one down path. <laughs> and now it's the, it's just the skills. And you know, when it comes to the skills, everybody has, you can't Play. I don't know if anybody's ever played the perfect game. Sometimes it's the timing also of your errors. As you see, Akari already with a four-point lead here in this third set. Right, and everybody enjoying and celebrating the points they got so far here in set number three. You can see that the body language has changed yeah. here for the Akari Chargers in this third set. And you got the, the really feisty team captain. Mitch Cobb on the floor. Did you see that back set? That last set. 
was really highlight worthy. And now that save, back row attack by Genesis, dug by Soltones. Pontillas is thinking the ball over, Paslang almost. And I, it's great to see the effort of these girls in black. The Akari Chargers is really Luis Buhay diving for those balls. Rain Tixon has a report. Dindin Santiago Manabat is having quite a season and she has the numbers to back it up. She is currently number three in scoring and number nine in spiking, making her one of the best attackers in the league. And being the go-to player obviously comes with a lot of pressure. But Dindin told me that I just lang. Iniiwan ko na lang siya sa bench para hindi siya maapektuhan. She also does not think that the team relies on her for offense and gives credit to her other teammates who contribute in their own way. And to prove it, right now, she isn't even on the floor giving her young, budding spikers a chance to get their spotlight as they are leading by five, by two points here in our third and five, third set. Chiki and Ish. You know, that's right. Drain, she isn't even on the floor. Santiago Manabat already with five points. Today, actually, shall we say only compared to her output in the last game, but it is the other uh, teammates who are coming out and contributing in this third set, allowing Akari to lead. But Petrogas right behind them. So if you're Akari, you just want to really hold on to this level, this uh, this energy level, and right. keep going. Akari Chargers attacking efficiently and passing perfectly the start of this uh, third set. A push there by Ren Palma. It's Cobb! Ball five foot four of her. Yeah, no blockers in front of her. So she had to drop it on the one-two play. Take a look at that one. Ang gande. Remy Palma was confused whether to block Victoria <laughs> or Michelle Cobb in that play. Things are working out for Akari here. We have a four-point lead. It's like things in reverse. This is what it was like in the first two sets. Well, Aga with a put away. And Akari is feeling it. And they are at eight points first with a five-point lead against Petrogas. Timeout will be back. this game in scoring. We have answers for you, but first we want to hear what you have to say. Tabi D, MP, CR Apic, for sure. Hintin Santiago as always. Tabi naman ni Kuis, Ivan, MJ Philip will still deliver the best scoring player for this game. Her attack's so incredible. Another tweet here to see if Bernard Bernardo sabi niya, Hintin Santiago Manabat will definitely lead in scoring for the Chargers and MJ Phillips for the Angels. These two women is on fire for their respective teams. Well, we have good news and bad news. The bad yeah. news for you is maybe you're a little off right now as to who is leading the charge for uh, Petrogas because, or for Akari rather, because Santiago is only at five points and is currently uh, uh, on the bench. But the good news is everybody else is, uh, is coming up and doing their part, which is, I think, what we want to see if you are an Akari uh, supporter. Over on the other side, MJ Phillips, not quite the leader, but contributing also to the charge of Petrogas. MJ Phillips with four points already. As you say hello to the ball, coming our way here, Petrogas wins that rally. Remy Palma always ready on the transition play. That zero tempo, a quick kill. She didn't even have to hit it that hard to score a point for the Angels. 
Braga's going up. She goes soft this time. Janelle Chen pushes it to Sabete there. Soyud from back. Cruz handles that one. And that was a little low. Nagkapatong patong ng Petrakas, pero buhay pa rin ang bola. Mitch Cobb again. Gets the ball over. Amazing job by Mitch Cobb here. Agas! Oh! And that did not go over for Erika Raagas. That was a great value yeah. for both of these teams. You can really see the effort and the heads up volleyball that we're seeing from both sides. The focus. Yeah, and uh, nobody giving up mm -hmm. on the ball. Yeah. That was a well earned Jeez. point by Petrogas, but they still trail by two. Hakari, though, they don't want to lose the momentum. They were already up by five points at the technical, first technical timeout. Good read there by Cobb. That was tough for Genesis, but she makes two balls still good. Let's see if they can get a play set up here. Akari gets a chance. Raagas! That is so inside. What a clean and powerful hit from Erika Raagas here as we go to person here. For the Akari Chargers here in set number three. A lot of clean hits. Courtesy of the sets from Michelle Cobb. I mean, their connection has been uh, spectacular in the opening part of this third set. Check the 11 points already ish for Erika Raagas and four points in this third set. And we're only at nine points. So, Libajan ke Raagas. Let's see if they're going to challenge him because from my point of view, there was a check ball. Oh, they're, they're gonna let it go. No challenge. So, Akari keeps four point lead here. And it's been this girl, Erika Raagas, who has revived all hope <laughs> for Akari. And as we say that, as a service ace, that's her first today. Yeah, I mean, error, service error, rather. My question earlier when they were leading as much as five points no? at eight to three, so because can they sustain this lead? Mm. I mean, that's the question for them. Well, so far they still are on top. And Genesis, that was a little too much overcooked, as you say. But was there a, yeah, no touch. A bit underneath the ball, you want them to target the fingertips of the high hat at the top of Check and Palma. And the question here is the consistency of the players for mm -hmm. the Akari Chargers. And we're seeing a totally different mix of players for Akari now. Not the one, not the girls who started. Right. Indeed, not on the court. Permentilia sitting this one out. Jaja Marginot also. Yes, already. Gretchen Sorgon is 12th point of the match, leading the way for the Petrogas Eagles here this game. That's a good receive by Genesis. Soyud from the back. Good dig by Isa. Veneda also does what she does. <laughs> Genesis timing it. That looked better. But Whoa. Sabete was there. Oh, that's just so tricky. So tricky. A layu in his net. Yeah. The confidence and the guts to do that on the second ball. Look at that one. <laughs> she could have said it to Soltoris or Palma, but she opted to go for the kill, talking about Janelle Cheng. A lot of tricks. Yeah, we got a timeout. Okay. I know you need them to creep, but also your last option. Maybe you'll be here to speak five. To spike five. Okay, you have her to five, you have to block, but you can. Okay, they are here to help you. Come on. And that was a 7 2 run by Petrogas. They were trailing by as much as five. You're talking about that ish. And Ender Nasida again at the heels. Makari, who's doing so well at the start of this first uh, third set. That timeout was directed to Michelle Cobb. She was told to vary her sets. And that she has some options 
from the back row in Eric Araagas and Eli Soyud. Let's see what she goes to. Genesis gets that ball. And Grandpama just sending the ball over. Also now a chance here for Sultanes. And Victoria was trying to hit the ball off the net. Couldn't do it. Petrogas regains the lead. Care of Retzel Sultanes. That was a good play from Petrogas Sultanes. Ginawa niya na ng parahan eh. Oh. Ad-libbing on her part. Already a bump set from Janelle Cheng. Jonas Sabete, you were talking about how she really has been so efficient in the back row. And tama ka, distribution of Janelle Cheng. Nagsisimula sa nakapaganda mga pasa ang binibigay sa kanya. She was the one on deck to serve for her Petrogas Angels. So, makahabol sila. Ito, ngayon lang siya nag-service error. No? We're tied at 11. Akari wanting that lead back. Oh, that was way wide. Yeah. And then Palma is apologizing for that one. And that's a break for Akari. They get the lead back. And Akari will want to sustain this and take advantage of that error by Petrogas and see if they can regain the momentum. Camille Victoria with a serve with the help of the net here. Sabete answers. And Sultanes with a soft one. Just off speed. And I have it on good word from one of our, I think it was Neil Flores, one of our analysts, saying that it looks easy, but even those yeah. mga off speed hits been a practice. Correct. That's uh, so true. I mean, it's, it's easy when you watch it on television. Yeah. Pero, the precision mm. that's needed to actually uh, execute it perfectly, so, you know, out of this world. I mean, the control yeah. that you need to execute such a play. And the says, "Sabi ko, kakabangit ko lang control." Whereas <laughs> in Genesis, I mean, that, that hit was way out. Way out. Pero tignan natin kung saan yung hit siya. If there's a pinky touch <laughs> on the block. Akari making good use of their challenges here. And why not? Diba? This is going to help your campaign. This is, has been a good third set so far for Akari. Of course, also a do or die set for them after having given up the first two sets. Although a no bearing game, Akari, for your information, if you were not with us at the start of the coverage, if you look at this, Metach ba Metach? That's so close. I can tell. Oh. They're not going to give it. And, uh, that was no good for Coach Jorge. Talking about the journey of Akari in this, their, only their second conference here in the PDL. They came off a big win against Cheritigo, although they are out of contention for the finals. They are showing and understanding and learning about what they can do when they come together as a team, beating a powerhouse of Jerry Pico. That was such a feat for Akari. And now they are trying to win at least one set and then go from there against the champions of last conference. They're staying within striking distance, mm -hmm. no? Ito, uh, palitan lang ng lamang. One is to one here in the third set. That's a good serve. Good reception too. Ooh. And again, these her errors plaguing Petrogas. Well, she had the right thing in mind. She wanted to target Michelle Cobb, so uh, the hitters of Ankari Chargers would be the ones to set the second ball. And you know, looking at the rankings and the stats, we know that Petrogas is the dominant team between the two, but like you said, it takes a perfect game from Akari and a error-filled one for Petrogas. That might just be a win for the Chargers. Pero yun know, mababa na yung set ni 
Janelle Cheng to MJ Phillips, pero nagawa pa rin ng paraan eh. That's the maturity that these girls have on the side of the Petrogas Angels. For those of you who are predicting that MJ Phillips will be the top scorer today, well, she has time to still add to her five points. But so far, it's been Gretzel Soltones for the uh, Angels. And it's still inside, and that's a point for Akari. That was good. That was a good read block from Bakaslang. And Ellie saw you guiding that ball in. No coverage on the part of the Petragas Angels. They're just down here by a point. It's Marciano on deck to serve. Yeah, good reception on that serve. Yeah, and the blocking is working for Akari. Raagas pushing the ball over, and we have a net touch violation on Maiso Podilias and Akari now in the lead on a second technical timeout. Back for more after the break. for this exciting Jerry Digo uh, matchup against the Petrogas Angels. So, yung mga ilong ko dyan, maayong hapon sa inyo. Right, and uh, we can expect a lot of uh, support coming from the Ilongos themselves para kay Isa Maiza Pontillas. Yeah. And the other game of the Akari Chargers uh, is going to be against Creamline. Same day. And talking about Isa Maiso Pontillas, she scores and gets Petrogas at 15 points. Steady, steady player. Of course, just a veteran. A lot of players look up to her, feel very secure when she's on the court. Yan yung dala ng mga veterano. Yeah. The steady and calm presence yeah. inside the court. Back set to Soyud. It's good. So oh. you does hit the spot like our court announcer, Macarella says. Going down the line was Ellie saw you. That was a clean hit. A lot of powerful attacks coming from her here in the third set. Filling in uh, on the absence of Dindin Santiago Manabat here in the third set. We're seeing a lot of the other tall players of Akari on the court. And again, a great save there by Cobb. And Raagas does it, just hits it off the block, and look, they are up by three. Midway into this third set. Yeah, they're playing it smart. They're not forcing uh, the powerful attacks. Uh, and from time to time, they can see where the holes are in the defense of Petrogas. Time out here, Coach Oliver Almadro. So let's not be in there, let's count. So let's put it, oh, put it over. And now, if you want to say it, I told you that they're targeting this long. Eh. Gawin din ginawa ni, ano kanina, ni Soyu. Hinabaan lang ganun. Hindi naman hindi hinabaan lang na ganun. So we have, to, we have to expect. Expect now. They do variations tayo. We have three attackers. Kailangan tayo makapagpagalaw. Pagalawin mo yun, no problem. Hit it, hit it. Now you have to hit it. Come on, you have to hit it. adjustments in their defense so that if they're yeah, you know reading uh coach Jorge's mind and also the setters they're probably going to want to go other options this time and not those long balls right uh coach oliver said that the car charger said that in set number three is targeting the long uh balls and 
And now Petrogas has a chance to set up and again. <laughs> wow. How many times will she get away with that? Janelle Cheng. Janelle Cheng's grip. You know, every time she goes for that one-two play. Yep, she is just a master class in one-two plays. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't mind whoever is in front of her or who's defending on the back end of uh, the opponent's court. She just goes for it. And Soyu again just keeps coming. And she's going a little shorter. As you see, still down the line, but hindi niya ngayon tinutulak sa likod. Yeah, and targeting the block of Z Herbasha on a down the line angle. She knows she's the taller one between Z and uh, Ellie Soyu. Back set. And so Confilias, very effective opposite hitter. But talaga yung advantage mo kapag kaliwete ka. <laughs> the silent assassin <laughs> for the Petrogas Angels here in this match. You know, all game long, for me, it has been Gretzio Sotones, Randy Palma, and MJ Phillips. But Isa Isa Pontilias quietly I mean, with, double with a double-digit performance yeah. here. As we take a look at substitutions here, we saw Indy Manabat uh, back on the court. And also Chi Sayat coming in as a uh, setter she is serving now. So uh, full front line here for the Petrogas Angels. Jaja going to Din Din. And that's an easy point for her. Tamang tama lang, putting it off the block. Long time no see for Din Din, Santiago Manabat, who sat out practically in the whole second set. And she is coming into this third set almost towards the end. But Akari still Maintaining the lead could be a fourth set. Didn't go for the jump serve as Erika Raagas. And Zero Basho could get it past the two man block there. And Akari already with 21 points. Back to four is the advantage of the Chargers. How about that? Uh, ish, they are really coming alive. That was a good block. Uh, for Victoria and Santiago Manaba guarding Zir Vasho well. That's why it's a Jonas Abeta's time to come back in for the Angels. Oh, this is going to be a free ball off of that beautiful serve by Raagas. Camille Victoria's dug. Sabete. And with that put away. But breaking that freebie. Sabete, fresh from the bench, contributing and going cross court. Tinibag yung block ni Victoria. <laughs> Tinibag talaga. Jonas Sabete, her ninth point. She's had three service aces. Let's see if she'll make it four. Oh, that's good reception by Bancaneda. Whoa. Oh, there we go again. Wow. The trick shot, Sayan this time makes it happen, gives it to Remy Palma. She's always ready, talking about Remy Palwa. That's why it's always a surprise hit, sabi nga nila, no? Pero that's, I think, uh, the essence of being a middle blocker, eh, no? You just have to go for the approach and wait for the setter to give it to you. Laging mm. handa, eh, no? Yes, that's a perfect uh, phrase for it. And she's also good in defense there with the coverage. Ball is back with Akari. Din Din, Manabat! Put away. It's a powerful hit cross court. Much needed point for the Akari Chargers. And the Chargers exactly where they want to be. They need to win this third set after having given up the first two. And we have the tall players, a very tall front row here for Akari. Six foot two in Dindin Manabat. Rish Makaslang, five foot 11, almost six feet. So they are really putting up a stand here, but that was a box play there. Masano could keep it in. Yeah. And yeah. that Chargers cannot look back here. He's up by two points. However, they only need three points to snatch this win away from the Petrogas Angels. There's a full front line then of Petrogas Angels, you eh, know? Yeah. 
Din Din. Oh, wow, what a block. Yeah. Wow. Go right back to Din Din. What a close yeah. out by MJ Phillips and Greg Kokonis. Let's see who blocked that ball. Oh, clearly, it was MJ Phillips blocking the cross court area. What a clutch play. Yes, definitely for the highlight reel. And Petrogas gaining on Akari, which is a point behind with Ren Palma at the serve. Nice and soft. Jaja outside to Shano. Oh, that was called in. Yeah. Akari looking good in this third set. Marciano, that's the first point. And so you didn't cut back in. And this is a very important serve here for Mitch Cobb. She can close it out. They only need two points to win the set and keep playing. Of course, Petrogas, they want the win in straight sets because they're after the points. It is uh, all about the number of sets won, not just the games, because they're trying to chase that top four slot. But Akari is going to be the thorn on her side. We have a time. Nandito ka, nandito ka, Shen. Nandito ka, nandito ka. Baka, baka i-challenge ka dito, ah. Pero ito muna, first option yan dito. First option. Lapitan natin. Kakargahan mahaba yan. Naintindihan para hindi tayo makapasok si MJ. Now, if you have the option Chi, patumba mo kagad kay MJ para may option tayo dito. Naintindihan. Walang setter. If, if she can defend, wala tayong setter. Wala silang setter. Okay, now. When in return, counter, expect so you will hit here, will hit you here. Expect side, you cross court, G, cross court, say you, huh? So, hey, but you got it! Of course, it's much clearer for the coach and the coaching staff watching all the action from the sidelines and the TV. Their job to remind the players of what's going on. Siyempre, pag nasa court ka, hindi mo nakikita lahat yun. And ano yung, ano yung the pick up doon is saan kailangan mag-ingat talaga dito ang Petrogas. Oh, with Michelle Cobb serve, he said na target ng mahaba ito para mahirapan yung middle blocker natin for the approach. <laughs> well, this is good defense we're seeing from Akari. MJ Phillips got a chance there. A couple of times to put the ball away. Ball still good. Cobb going to Marciano again. They needed that point so bad, and they got it courtesy of Janine Marciano targeting the seam in between the block of MJ Phillips and Buitre. Just such quick hands for Marciano and good connection there by Cobb. And set point is with Akari now. A couple of them, a few of them, three to be exact. Michelle Cobb still on deck to serve for the Akari Chargers. She's been there for a couple of points now. That's a good serve. Back set. MJ Phillips challenged. Sultanes, that was a tough one. And lucky for her, Major Mujeres was there. She managed to get it off the block. She intentionally swiped it off the block of Ellie Soyud to score a point for the Angels. The set was already too close to the net. You know, the veteran in her was unlocked. It's still set point for Petroga for Akari rather. A quick hand, that one got away from the back rope. Jonas the best to handle that hit from Fish and that is a game. One, a set rather, one by Akari. We are going to set four after that. Big attack. Like we'll be back to talk more about this third set after you.
Sakari found their strengths and uh, really just work on them. I think a different combination of players on the court now seems to be the answer for the Akari Chargers. Right, I mean, everybody can see the thing in the part of the Akari Chargers and uh, it showed uh, their body language. You know, they started pretty well with eight to three lead. It's at number three. Uh, Jaja Maraginot and Michelle Cobb uh, collaborating with uh, the distribution of the set. So there's Spikers in that last play. Uh, nobody blocked Trim Makaslang. And uh, they also defended well and passed uh, perfectly, uh, almost perfectly in that third set win. Ito may kita natin. Lamang na lamang sila. I mean, lamang sila rather uh, sa attack points by two, 70 to 15 block points. They also lead uh, in that department 2 to 1. And opponent errors, uh, may kita natin. Uh, patay naman eh. It was just a matter of uh, who got the points when it mattered the most. And uh, for the Akari Chargers, Jerry Marciano also helped out uh, when it comes to the attacking department. And uh, uh, the defensive uh, display coming from Bang Pineda, very mm. steady as well for the Akari Chargers. We'll see how the Petrogas Angels come back here in set number four, how they're going to respond. And you know, Ish, you're talking about how really this game doesn't really matter uh, to the, the, well, Akari's uh, journey towards the top four because that has already been uh, dashed, like we said. Pero hindi dun eh, hindi dun tumitigil eh. Gusto nila manggulo and they want to see what they've got. And all of this, whatever it is that they're able to put out uh, in this particular conference, even if it doesn't get them to the finals, they will take that to the next time they play right. the next conference. Eh. Right, that's the essence of still going all out. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know that you've got no chance of really making it to the semifinals. They know that this is a must-win situation for them. This matchup against the Akari Chargers, they cannot let up. They have to win this game in order for them to uh, be in a more comfortable spot leading uh, F2, TLDT, and uh, Cherry Vigo just behind them in the team standings. It's so tight no, in the number 2-3-4 position. So far, Creamline is the only one assured of a spot in the semis with their 6-1 record. But between Petrogas and Cherry, and, and the, they are, Cherry is also going to be playing uh, later on today against Chocomucho, also out of contention. So two important games for both those squads before they see each other. Mario offers blood and offered well for them. Set number three, when they scored first, they nila. And that is how they won. That third set. Eli Soyut and Erika Ragas combining uh, their efforts to uh, snatch a third set win. Oh, what a blow! <laughs> Erika Ragas, as I say that, another point for her. Leila Cruz couldn't do much about that one. Nakari really pushing it. They want to win this set to push for a fifth, but he makes a five set on <laughs> Akari. Montillas! She doesn't look like she wants to play a fifth set. Yeah. I mean, uh, the power behind that is you can see. But you know, there's a lot of placement that's just what she's doing. She's kind of facing herself. But right now, I think the mindset here is we cannot relax anymore. We have to put up the intensity again. That's 14 points already for Pontilios. Pontilios, as we were talking about her today, and the absence of the core coverage there in the back has been exploited by Akari. They put that time and again, going deep. Erika Raagas has been going for it on the attack. Never mind the blockers. Or the absence of blockers in front of her. And of course, Makaslang closing out that third set. And also, Soyud is finding the spots on the court. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Elias. This is the same way they started set number three. Consistent serving and service receptions in the third set as we saw. No? Wala ka siya ng errors and we saw lots of plays, particularly on the side of Kari. That's why you're able to attack more. Yeah, it's a good reception. Sabete going out. Simple volleyball to just score the easiest way she can. That was a good conversion on the part of Jonas Sabete. Making do with the set that she dropped, um, targeting the seam to block of Victoria and Soyu. But really, the mastery in order for you to be able to play simple volleyball, quote unquote, it's because you have all those skills intact. You can choose your approach, you can choose the type of ball that you will dish out to the opponent. Meantime, Petrogas, like you said, I only nearly extend, and they're counting not just set. Uh, uh, games, but sets also. One-handed set, MJ Phillips, nakabantay dun. Back row attack, or push oh. rather, but still good enough. MJ Phillips still going for the block. That was already a free ball. Normally, you wouldn't block that kind of a ball already. Kasi, tatama pa din sa kamay mo eh. May hirapan yung mga didepensa sa likod. And that's exactly what happened in the last play. And again, the intensity, we're feeling it weighing a little bit on the side of Petrogas. MJ Phillips this time. Quick point. And that's the kind of speedy conversions that we're used to seeing from Petrogas. Rain Dix on with a report. Chiki, you mentioned intensity, and that's exactly what head coach Oliver Almadro reminded his, his girls. He said to up their intensity and not give them any chances. After convincing wins in the first two sets, the Angels started slow that ended up being costly for them. Coach Oliver reminded the squad to read the Chargers both on offense and defense instead of just following Akari's tempo. He also gave Petrica specific instructions, such as reminding MJ Phillips not to hesitate when the ball is set up to her. And can they just do can they do enough? To close this out in four sets, let's see here as we return back to the ball. Much closer now. It was an early lead for Akari. But now Petrogas has even things out at six apiece. And you're right, Rain. This isn't something that Petrogas wants to extend any further. Because they are counting sets, uh, points. The, the way it works here, you know, so at the you get five points if you win by... Uh, straight sets. You get three points if you win in three or four sets, and you only get two points if you win in five sets. And uh, that one point will be given to the loser uh, yeah. if uh, Matt goes unextended uh, five setter. Three points, pala. Sado ko sa parang ibibigay ko. Thanks for clearing that up, but. Uh, that's, that, that's why Petrogas is really trying to win it as quickly as they can. But Akari is just getting it away. <laughs> Unofficially, that is the third time that Janelle Cheng has pulled that one-two play. That is her third point as well. And they lead at the technical timeout. 8-6, we'll be back. Still here at the Phil Sports Arena. The Akari Chargers managed to extend this game to a fourth set, and they are well within this one, just trailing by two after having taken the lead early in the set. And 
Akari wants to go all the way. They're used to these five setters. Meantime, Petrogas worried about their entry into the postseason. They want to win as quickly as they can. Oh. <laughs> That's two in a row. Yeah. That is deja vu all over again. <laughs> oh, Janelle Chang really going for that one to play. And I think Janelle Chang has eyes in the back of her head. <laughs> or sa side, no? Hindi malabong si mayari yan. And she's on fire as well, celebrating that point. Now a three-point lead by Petrogas. A push there by Victoria. <laughs> Phillips will put it up. And I thought for a moment there, Janelle Chang was going to score again. Rem Palma is blocked by Victoria. Good rally here. One ultimately by Marchanda there. And they needed that point. They needed to stop the run of the Petrogas Angels. Janine Marchano targeting the high hands of the block of Cheng and Palma. Converting on that ad lib play. Oh, they are down by two. Channel Cheng still has Palma and Soltonis in front. Yeah, this <laughs> time, not quite, said Akari. Soltonis getting it off the blockers, taking advantage of the smaller top in the front. Gretchen Soltonis with an off the block kill, targeting Michelle Cobb. Uh, look at the set of Channel Cheng. Only a single block coverage, whenever uh, they're given a free ball. It's a quality of a setter she is for the Petrogas Angels. Sotonis goes up again. Woo! Even easier this time. Just powering through and just catching Soyud off guard there. It is always a matter of. Uh, Taking a peek at the holes of the block mm. and the defense on the floor of the opponents. So Coach Jorge will go for time. Then you can use the guys later. Okay? We have to go there and spike high. Okay? Forget about the line. Just on the gap. A. Transition, the ball comes in. Shoulder by shoulder, she blocked her position. You don't need to throw, you don't need to throw. Just give a space for them, okay? The receive is good. We need to put the points only. Biggest lead that Ragaz has enjoyed in the last two sets, no? They barely led in the third set, and now they're up by four. Petrogas won, they do it. Just close it out. The set and not extend to a fifth. But Akari has worked so hard to get to this point, you know they're gonna fight. Right. But the Akari Chargers have had a hard time converting on the attack here in set number four. But as I say that, that was a deep cross court kill for Janine Bershano. That was a tough one for Tempiatura, the other libero for Petrogas. Tough, uh, tough angle. Great catch out there. Things happen for Akari when Michelle Cobb is serving. Let's see if that works again in this fourth set. Oh! Ah, again, the curse of the common paper. Yeah, she gives it right back. I mean, that was their chance to, you know, catch up and regain their momentum. But they give it right back eh, with the service error. It's not a fight. Look at those numbers for Gretsch Soltones. 16 points already. Uh, nice stop by Chen Hel Cheng there. She can send the ball over. Cab outside to Soyud. Sabete with the cover. And Sabete will go up for the hit. How about the angle there? Just the trajectory. Baun. It was an excellent set coming from Janelle Cheng. A single block coverage only. It was a Bete versus Marciano on the left pin. It was an explosive kill from Jonah. 
Oh, it's a good serve. Kyrie can handle that one. That sells on Donis. And somebody is on the floor. Oh, there was a collision. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of scrambling happening on the side of Akari. They were fighting to keep the ball alive. You got to give them that. Masyano, napakasipag. Let's take a look at the tape here, the slow-mo. That was Masyano. Couldn't get the ball up. And the she just rammed right into her teammate. Yeah. Fish makaslang there. And especially when you don't see it coming, Nakaka, I think it was also just a, she was a little bit shaken up and shocked, but she looks like she's okay. Soyu, that was a tough one. That was a tough one for Soyu. Well, the reason, one of the reasons why the carry Chargers won that third set was uh, they've had that uh, reception uh, directed to Cobb and Jaja Marginon, no? talaga maganda yung pagpapasa nila nung third set. But this time around, Petrogas again loading up on their serves, being smart about it, and uh, giving them a hard time <laughs> on the receiving end of those serves. You are so on point, <laughs> Ish Polvorosa. Technical time out with an eight-point lead for Petrogas. We'll be back. Well, certainly the crowd here also on hand for the second game between Chocomucho and Cherry Eagle. Oh, Gretchen Soltanes has been there in the service line. We've got some time now. Cobb going outside to Soyud again. She's blocked, but ball. Still alive here, Marciano with a dink. Good read there by Tapitura. Sabete with a cut shot going to Soyud. Ball still good. Another chance here for Petrogas. Still Sabete. It's answered by Raagas. Soyud with that dump. Janelle Cheng was there. What a rally we're seeing here. Raagas from back row. And Botilias did not see that coming. Yeah. It hit the block of Remy Palma. But they haven't given a lot of sets to their back row hitters, talking about the Akari Chargers. Mm. And it's time to do so. I mean, uh -huh. uh, Eli Soyo and Janine Machado were having a hard time converting an attack on the front row. Sabi nyo, mas mahirap talagang pantayan yung mga back row attacks. And not a good time for a service error for yeah. Machado. I mean, mas mahirap makabalik if you just give points away to your opponents. Just like that, I mean, the lead is ballooned to eight. And we had Tiamson coming into the game for the first time here in this fourth set. Getzel Saldones gets a breather as Rempama continues to serve here. Targeting the back row, but Pineda handled that one. And they talk about targeting the back row. That is what Raagas has been doing all day. And it's a good idea. Yeah. Going up against Harem Palma there in the back. He's been going for it with those powerful attacks. You know, targeting the end line, the baseline of the defense of uh, Petrogas Angels. 17 big points for Raagas getting the side out for her team. And the 10th point as Krish Makaslang serves. Pontilias, her attack stopped there. Raagas hitting it off the blocker. She's using her power. 
They were waiting for her to reach the front row. So Michelle Cobb could milk her on the open pin. Again, that's back-to-back -back points for Erika Rahagas. This well, is a, yeah. Uh, my point, Chiki, they need to help her out if they want mm. to catch up here in this game. Oh, that's a good serve. More welcome serves. Oh. A chance here for Akari. This is going to be another free ball, or Sabete manages to hit the ball over. Cheng to Sabete one more time. Good defense by Raagas. And that was a tough one. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Great coverage by Krish. Makas lang there. Oh, my wow. God. Just wow. That hit the face of Makaslang, talking about the eight quick kill of MJ Phillips. I knew that Junel Jing was going to give Phillips that set. But look at that approach and that kill. Yeah, man, that's the first facial we've seen in a long time. But this Makaslang is tough. I mean, after that collision with her teammate, Jenny Marciano, and now the facial. But it's back to back points for MJ Phillips. This is the kind of intensity that Coach Oliver Almagro has been wanting to see from uh, his squad. But they don't, it's Victoria on the A quick. Combination there, Agas will get it. And she's been efficient just hitting it off the block. Good right. idea for her to just be given the ball. And Akari is still fighting. It's been a one-woman show mm. oh, for Erika Raagas here, the side of the Akari Chargers. That's 19 for her today. And game's not over yet. Akari still pushing, just really. Just pushing to play a set five here. They have seven points they need to make up. Back row attack by Aiza Maiz Cordillas. And that gets away from Jaja Marigino. She converts right back for the Petrogas Angels. That's the maturity that uh, they can show the young guns of the Akari Chargers. I mean, whenever you're given that set, I mean, you find ways to score points for the team. Raagas from the right side this time, blocked by Tiamson and MG Phillips. One more time for Raagas through the blockers. Great coverage by Sabete. Tiamson goes up. Bank Veneda was there. Oh! An error there by Marciano hitting the ball right into the net. It's tough because she came from all the way in the back. It's Mahirap Tanchahe Talaga from back row. And Marciano gave up a point, a very, very precious one. Petrogasta with 21. Kari with 12. Vindian Santiago gets a point. Off the block there. Santiago Manaba. How many points does she have done? Nine, Nine points for Dindin Santiago Manaba. Still a chance to go double digits here. Kari continues to fight. And that's a tough one. This is a boxed play and off system. And we have a... So it's called outside because it... Uh, went outside the antenna. antenna. Uh, Coach Oliver Almadro and the Isa Maiza Fontilias will um, be arguing this call. Okay. So, what do you say, Coach? You don't have to go. You don't have to go. You don't have to go. Okay. And we are able to eavesdrop on that conversation between team captain. And Aisa sending the message like she was told to. Wagda siyang pangunahan. Sabihan lang si Coach O. And Coach O just takes it in stride. Comfortable lead here for yeah. Petrogas, but Akari, they are just fighting on. Oh, MJ Phillips. I'm sorry. I mean, am I watching Spikers there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at that kill from MJ Phillips. And just you know, wow. Yeah, just wow. And it took the fourth set, you know, this killer instinct that we saw. We know MJ Phillips has 
it's a treat to see the kind of excitement she brings to the game. And the elevation and the, <laughs> the lengths whenever she goes for the kill. That's Heather Ginoa with that set. Good reception. Mashano there, and she went up for the hit also. And Red Palma. You know, one to me, Jen Parang ganun din kasi yung dating ng mga set niya yeah. para pag mabilis. So, if, look at this. Rem Palma was just there to hit it. Perfect timing. Just that connection between Remy Palma and Janelle Cheng. Back row attack. Myra Agas. Too easy there for Gidoo. Underhanded set for Dindin. Nabat. Ball still good. Good coverage for Akari. Kari just playing heads up volleyball here, and we have. And here's another violation being called against Kari. Or at Petrogas, rather. Coach Oliver Almadro is furious about that missed call. I mean, he's arguing uh, for a four touches violation, but mm. Dina Bigato Sanila. They're still up by eight points and just two points away from the win. Antilias hits it from back row. A chance here. Maraginot pushing it to Marciano. Down the line. Six good kill from uh, Janine Marciano. Targeting the locking hands of Janelle Cheng. Down the line. I mean, one thing you gotta say about Akari, ang tibay. Yeah. Ilaga bumibigay. And they are still down. We have a timeout. Don't be able to move back. Let's move back. That's what we're going to do. That's the strategy. Don't be able to move back. When we're in the ball, look girls, I don't need spectacular play. When we're in the ball, try to be good. We have to finish it right. Finish it strong. Okay? That's the most important thing. Get one! Finish it right. Finish it strong. Let's go. Let's go. Try to be good. Let's go. Let's go. Get one and pass. <laughs> Just kidding. Parang ano exam? Yeah, they balik that. You have to pass first and then get one point. But you can see that Petrogas enjoying themselves today on the court. A lot of laughter there, a lot of smiles on the side of the angels and on your screens. Pakaslang also enjoying herself here. It's a pressure off for. Akari, yeah. like we said, it's a no-bearing game, and they should be happy about the fight that they're giving these uh, reigning champions, or at least the champions from the last conference. Have a yellow card flashed um, against. I think Coach Oliver Almadro <laughs> is given that yellow card for arguing uh, the missed calls. And the yellow card flashing because it's a verbal warning. Na itong si Referee Raselis Kanina for Coach O. Petrogas Angels just needs a perfect pass here and convert on the attack. Match point is on the horizon. Meantime, Akari has been able to hold off the Petrogas Angels. But this time, that's pretty spectacular if you ask me. <laughs> well, that was. A uh, spectacular play from uh, Tiamzon and Janelle Cheng. Yeah, Tiamzon coming in late into this game. At least she's on the scoreboard. And this is match point for the Petrogas Angels. Oh. And that was a very anticlimactic uh, end to this four-setter. Petrogas will win this one as easily as they took the first two sets. But we saw that really great showing of Akari in set number three. They should be proud about that. They were able to eke a set win against Petrogas Angels. But these girls in white, they come away with a much needed W for that um, continued campaign towards the top four. We'll be back to break this down after these.
Here with me right now is our player of the game, Gretcha Sultanis. First of all, congratulations on scoring 20 points in a very crucial matchup for the Petragas Angels today. First of all, nung fourth set, merong game face ka eh. Sobrang iba yung gigil mo. Bakit nagkaganon si Gretchen Sultones? Ah, uh, kasi syempre, uh, ayaw namin maging uh, kampante. And syempre, pag nabigyan namin ng momentum yung kabila, so kami pa yung madadali. And also, minamind namin kung ano yung dapat pa namin improve as a team. And also, uh, yung ano namin sa bawat isa, tiwala. Nice. Tapos last game ninyo, yung mga middles yung talagang gumawa. This game kayo naman ni Ate Jonah, parang kamu paano nakakatulong na going into the semis, talagang lahat kayo gumagawa? Uh, yun naman, remind lang namin sa bawat isa. Pag kunyari, yung isa magre-receive lang kasi syempre hindi naman all the time sa open or sa quicker. Kung sino yung mabigyan ng opportunity, opportunity pumalo or pumuntos, siya. So nakasupport lang kami sa bawat isa. And speaking of supporters, i-greet mo naman yung mga fans ninyo sa venue and our fans all watching at home. Hi pala sa um, galing umuwi sa US, si Tita Daya, Tita Ayen, um, si Tita Abe, and sa lahat ng kasama niya, si MJ Morada, and yung daddy niya, si Papa Dandy Morada, si Ate Dane Inez, and yung... Uh, asawa niya and anak niya. And thank you po sa management ng Petrogas and sa mga fans ng Petrogas. Right, that was our player of the game, Gretchel Soltones. Thanks so much, Rain. Congratulations to Gretchel Soltones. 20 big points. And um, many of those coming from the attack. Of course, Pontillas also came in with 15 and Palma with 13. But these numbers-ish? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a blowout when it comes to the attacking department. 64-51, block points, lamang din sila at 6-4. But what about the service aces, 5-1? to Pero for me, what spelled the difference, especially for Gretzio Soltones, was the intangibles, no? I mean, they defended properly and they scored the points when uh, it mattered the most for their squad. And just uh, in the nick of time, nagising sila. Yeah. And after that set number three loss, uh, they regrouped. And then they put up their intensity again, and then they won this game against the Akari Chargers. And talaga, if you are the four service aces out of the five, is Gretzel Sultones, and that is why she's the player of the game. And that was a great one. I'm glad that I was able to cover that with you. My partner here, Ish Polvorosa, on behalf of Rain Tixon as well, and our director, Al Neri. Stay tuned for the upcoming game between these girls, Cherry Tigo and the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. This has been Chikiro Puno. Thanks for joining us at Keep It Here for more volleyball action in the PBL, the heart of volleyball.